LB, let's put you on the positive side, but I want to say, regardless of how this conversation goes, we all want TNA to succeed. We all want them to be a force in wrestling. Jobs for people. We've, yes. we've said this multiple and, times. And, and we. This is also nothing against the performers. No. Because with no. what they're given, they try and make the best of it. Right. They do wonders. The only time I will get angry with a specific performer is maybe a little bit later in this discussion, and we will bring him up and call him out by name. We will, so, we will, we will. A certain friend of the show. So, um, but yeah. anyways, so so TNA Slammiversary happened, Global Force is coming up. I have my opinions on it, but first let's go with the positive spin. Antonio Garza, what are your thoughts on TNA Slammiversary and this interesting connection with the upstart <clears throat> uh, Global Force Wrestling with Jeff Jarrett? The way I see it right now is that uh, TNA uh, needed something big to try and bring ratings in and try to get the name out there. Global Force Wrestling needs anything to get the name out there. So what I imagine happened here is that TNA went to several promotions and said, hey, we kind of want to do an invasion angle. Uh, so, hey, Ring of Honor, you want to do an invasion angle? No, we don't want to. And at the end, they went to Jeff Jarrett and say, like, hey, let's come to a deal. So I, I think it's possible. I think it's something different that we've seen. Like, I can't remember the last time we saw, like, a promotion to promotion invasion since the WCW, WWE one. Um, hold on. Didn't, like, don't Ring of Honor and New Japan cross over all the time? Yeah, but that's an invasion. Yeah, that's that's invasion. Yeah. Uh, I thought yeah. they had kind of an invasion thing. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, they just sent uh, their guys over. Okay. It's not like a war between them. Although it was still in global wars. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was going to say, I'm like, but no, but I don't no, know, but it, it the impression they gave off kind of seemed no, like it was a just bit. a trading of talent for, for both, the benefit of both worlds. Yeah. So I, I think that uh, it, it's possible that TNA is trying to do something. Like, if they're actually getting canceled, it, they're still trying to do something for them. for them. So, like, I give them all the props for that. All right, all right. They they realize the invasion angle sucked, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, it sucked. But because the people writing it sucked. Yeah. They dropped the ball in a big way. Yeah, Which, they did because global that, force. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Bobby. I was just gonna say the ECW uh, turn during the invasion angle for WWE was amazing, and then they just. <laughs> so, so Sorg, I'm on the positive side of this, right? I think so, yes. Okay. All right, here's the deal. Global Force Wrestling coming into TNA, and I think eventually if they were to just take over TNA, is the best possible thing to happen for TNA currently. Because as we've said before, uh, the wrestlers and the talent – are not to blame. They're not the problem here. The problem is the management, and to that end, TNA is the punchline to a joke that we've been telling for years now. Mm -hmm. When you remove that element, you have a lot of talented wrestlers under a new banner. It can actually be a fresh start if they bring in different management, if they bring in someone with a different vision and a different look on it. The letters TNA going away, the letters Impact Wrestling going away, are the best possible thing that could happen. Is, now, is it Jeff Jarrett? Is he the best candidate to do this? Maybe not. But he's probably has a different, <laughs> a different group of people he's going to bring in, and it's better than what we've got so far. It's a fresh coat of paint. We need to chip away the old paint. <laughs> We need to chip away the old paint. We need to remodel the whole house. We need to um, tear down these walls. We need to uh, move these refrigerators. We need to replace the wiring. Yeah, exactly. but that's why taking this talent and putting them into a new company is what is needed. Uh, I don't. It, it. I don't think Jeff Jarrett is going to have different ideas though. I, I don't I mean he's already using a six sided ring. He's basically taking any kind of talent that isn't nailed down somewhere else, including a lot of TNA talent. 
I mean, the reason we were even excited about the WWE WCW invasion angle is because it was people who hadn't been in a ring together before. Mm -hmm. This is just going to be another episode of Impact because all of these guys have wrestled each other before. Yeah, but there's some new guys. 